I am Shakiri Moraine. I'm the director of Jade Trading Company. Um, we are a product development and Im import export company. 3D printing is just crucial to our business. They allow us to create a prototype before we make a full mold. And then if we need to iterate a few times to make that prototype until it's correct, it usually takes about three rounds. Then we send it into mass production. So a lot of the panel today focused on how do I create a prototype and how do I know when it's finished? And I think from our side, um, the service professionals in creating these prototypes, each one is different. So a lot of that had to do with their specific businesses, but we could tell them generally you'll never stop iterating so just figure out the checkpoints when you're ready to go to market and then base it off of that so it wasn't sort of a one-size-fits-all answer but it's more about what's your go-to-market strategy and how do you fit prototyping into that I've run into some of the larger companies that are afraid of 3D printing because of what it will uh, provide meaning innovation right so Previously, unless you had tens of thousands of dollars, you couldn't create a new item, a new product to go into market. But now for a couple hundred dollars, someone can create a new product. So those companies who were sort of staking themselves on the fact that no one else can innovate, oh, their lunch is being taken. And I see it every day. They're really afraid of us being able to innovate and be a Uber for example, to a industry like Coca-Cola. Because they're so big, they're so good at what they do, they don't often look on the outsides of that and figure out other advantages. They just say, let's keep doing what we're doing. But those companies that are like 3M, that are out there that are continuing to innovate, and they're bringing 3D printing technology and knowledge in-house, they're going to do extremely well because that's the curve. And I think as you look to hire millennials and you look to grow your company, you're going to have to have things that allow them to innovate at their desktop. You know, right there within two hours, they can take it from idea to concept to physical proof. And that's the future. That's where we are now. So I think those who are not doing that will truly be left behind.